a teacher, a survivor, a hero. If we were going to survive, we had to hide and fast. She protected her first grade class from the Sandy Hook school shooter. No matter how hard to relive, she now shares her ordeal. For me, getting up and sharing my story um, is what I need to do. Ever since Caitlin Roig de Bellis uh, survived the Sandy Hook school shooting in 2012, she has remained an educator and increasingly a speaker. And she now teaches at the college level and travels the country, sharing her pain and the power of hope. We caught up with her as she spoke recently to a group in Birmingham. In life, we each have a very definite purpose. Mine has always been as an educator. In 2012, Caitlin Roig de Bellis was a teacher at Sandy Hook in Newtown, Connecticut. She barricaded her entire first grade class in a bathroom, protecting them from a mentally ill gunman. They listened in horror as other teachers and students were massacred. I am a survivor. I am just like each of you. Since that tragic day four years ago, Roig de Bellis has dedicated her life to get the message out about two things, the power of choice and the power of hope. She begins her presentation with a familiar poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverge in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. She says she will never move on from December 14th, 2012, but she has made an important choice. That no matter what we go through in our life, right, we all have trials, tribulations, hard things happen to each and every one of us, uh, but we can always, in the face of that, choose hope. And choosing hope includes sharing her story of recovery, talking to groups like this one at Birmingham Groves High School. Why did this happen? Why our school? Why innocent, innocent? And she runs a nonprofit called Classes for Classes that teaches grade schoolers about kindness and compassion and how it's an appropriate response to evil. She's also written a book called Choosing Hope, which helps others cope with their own hardship, tragedy, and crisis. It's a universal message that resonates with her audience. Read the book. Caitlin's performance was amazing, something that needs to be told in every school, every auditorium, every college, every person needs to hear this message of hope. You can either let the evil kind of bring you down or you can focus um, your, your spirit and your energy on more positive things and just choose, you know, hope. That's what choosing hope is all about, encouraging people who find themselves in the midst of darkness, we all find ourselves there, to know that they can find the light. You know, it's just a choice they have to make. And Caitlin was invited to speak by Birmingham Public Schools and Wish Upon a Teen. The event raised money for that organization and its Design My Room program. It gives free room makeovers to teenage patients with extended hospital stays. But fantastic message. And yeah. um, those kids are in fifth grade now. I would have lost the bet. on. I can't believe it's been almost five years it's been now. Almost yeah. five years. Yeah.